Okay, here we have one more question. If vectors a and b are perpendicular, then find vector v in terms of vectors a and b. Satisfying equations, we have here three equations: v dot a is equal to zero, v dot b is equal to one, and uh, v dot a cross b is equal to one. हमें वेक्टर v निकालना है a एंड b के टर्म्स uh, में जो इन तीन इक्वेशंस को सेटिस्फाई करता हो क्या करेंगे वी कैन एक्सप्रेस एनी वेक्टर इन द स्पेस एज अ लीनियर कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ थ्री नॉन कोप्लेनर वेक्टर्स हम किसी भी वेक्टर को स्पेस में एक्सप्रेस करना चाहते हैं तो उसके लिए हमें तीन नॉन कोप्लेनर वेक्टर्स चाहिए Now do we have here uh, three non-coplanar vectors? We have vectors a and b. A and b are perpendicular. Okay, non-coplanar vectors. These vectors will uh, define a plane. A plane will be made. Then how can we get third vector? Third vector will come from where? So that we can create a space. Third vector will be a cross b. Okay. If two non-collinear vectors are given, then uh, third vector uh, will be a cross b to define the space. Okay, so we can write vector v as linear combination of three vectors uh, a, b, and a cross b. Look at that. These three vectors are non-collinear, independent vectors. Okay. Now we have to get the values of uh, x, y, and z. Our vector v को a, b, c के form में लिखना चाहते हैं, तो हमें x, y, z की values निकालने पड़ेंगी. Those values must be uh, in the form of vectors a and b. कैसे निकालेंगे? We can use this given equations. V dot a is equal to zero. So what do we do? We take dot with vector a. We get v dot a, which is actually zero, is equal to uh, x. Multiply by a dot a. A dot a is square of modulus of a plus y into a dot b. A dot b is zero because a is perpendicular to b, and z into a dot a cross b. A dot a cross b is also zero because uh, uh, a cross b uh, will be perpendicular to vector uh, a. Okay, so from this we get the uh, value of uh, x. Uh, value of x will be zero. Okay, x का value zero होगा ना? Okay, then we use this equation. For that we take dot product with vector b. हम b के साथ dot product लेंगे. We get v dot b, uh, which is actually one. This is equal to uh, zero because a dot b is zero. A is perpendicular to b. Okay, plus y into square of modulus of b plus zero. A cross b dot b will be Zero. Okay. So from this we get the value of y. Y will be one over square of modulus of b. Okay. X mil gaya. Y mil gaya. To get the value of z, uh, we can use this equation. For that we take dot product with a cross b. Now a cross b ke saath dot lenge. To hume milega. We get we get uh, uh, v dot a cross b. Which is actually one. This is equal to uh, x into a dot a cross b. A dot a cross b is zero because two vectors are same. Okay, so we have here zero plus zero b dot a cross b is uh, also zero. And uh, here we will have uh, z into square of modulus of a cross b. A cross b dot a cross b will be square of modulus of a cross b. And from this we get the value of z. Z will be one over square of modulus of a cross b. Okay. Now we put the values of x, y, z here. We get vector uh, v is equal to. I mean vector v will get uh, one over square of modulus of b into b plus plus one over square of modulus of a cross b into uh, into vector. A cross B. Okay, so we have vector V in terms of vectors uh, B, uh, A, and B. Uh, uh, using two vectors, using two non-collinear vectors A and B, we can define a space with third vector 
ए क्रॉस पे अगर दो वेक्टर्स गिवन है नॉन को तो हम तीसरा वेक्टर उनका क्रॉस uh, लेंगे ठीक है तो उससे हम स्पेस डिफाइन कर सकते हैं एंड देन वी कैन राइट एनी आर्बिटरी वेक्टर एज अ लीनियर कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ दिस थ्री वेक्टर्स ओके